Hi all. Uh, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Saturday Architecture. Uh, we have Deepak from Microsoft and Ram from uh, Virtusoft. Uh, there's a lot of talk about digital transformation and delivering benefits is what ha the end user experiences. Digital started in 1822 with something called a difference engine, which was done by Charles Babbage. So digital uh, digital has been there for close to two centuries now. Second, we talk about transformation. To me, a transformation is something which returns at least 4x return, which is 400% and above. Any return lesser than 400% is a good change. I would call it good software, good automation. But if it's transformation, it has to deliver more than 400x of the investment done. If that is happening, then we can say I'm actually able to deliver a digital transformational benefit. When I started in 95, uh, in order to do an automation of a factory floor, I had, and it took me close to two months and close to 10,000 rupees at that point in time to make this working. And still it was not industry grade. It was flaky. Today, a solution even four times complex like this can be made by a 15 year old in two weeks by ordering these parts from Amazon and with a Raspberry Pi. So for lesser, hugely lesser the cost, multiple times better can be delivered. That is what digital has done. Reduce the cost of implementation. But the benefit has to be exponential again. To give a very simple example, right? Like let's take uh, when we use desktop search. Okay, I know this is there in Windows machines. I'm not too sure how strong it is in Mac or in the Linux. But yeah. if I go to the search engine, let me just show something here. So I go to the search engine and I go to the bottom bar and I kind of say I wanted to check on agility. Now, interestingly, what has happened is a search engine which was there in the server and Google servers has now come to my desktop. Now, if you look at it here, as soon as I clicked on Agility, I can say what are the apps I have for Agility. These are the documents which I have worked on with respect to Agility. What is there in my emails about Agility? Now, this to me is a very good example of a digital solution. Now, if I can leverage this to improve productivity, it is going to be so great. For example, all of us write emails and you do search and then you write a mail and then you click and then you try to uh, find where the document is and then go click on that folder, come back and put it. I'm not improving productivity here. But if I can use the search feature along with my email, then I would say that is leveraging an existing technology to give quantum benefit. Every time I search for a document, I spend at least two to three minutes. If I open the mail and I click and the attachment can show up there automatically and I have cut down 120 seconds to let's say two seconds, that means I have actually improved my benefit by around 2000% or actually more than that. Okay. So uh, Deepak, have you seen benefits of something like this happening? Yeah, so since you just mentioned uh, uh, Outlook, uh, if you can see my screen, and uh, if you look up any uh, uh, your Explorer, your if you look at any Windows 10 machine, what you will see is there is a quick access option which shows you all the files you have been working on recently, right? And when you go to Outlook and you create a mail and say. Uh, Attach file. It'll show you all the files which have been you have been working on recently. Ah. And so if I just open a new mail, okay. And the same thing what you see in quick access, you will see in in the attach files, right? So you can see the same same options of uh, the same files which actually uh, you've been working on. Okay. So this is this is a, this is a very good example of. Uh, uh, individual automation where you can get benefited by uh, just automating some part of your daily work which now technology is now enabling so actually even after you said Charles Babbage something struck my mind that before it was in early 80s when the calculators became very common 
right? So that when the shopkeepers be begin to have calculators on their uh, uh, on their counters and to do ca quick calculation, I believe they got digital benefit at that point because till that time, to be a good shopkeeper, you have to be good at mathematics, right? Thing uh, uh, which which has which I believe has individual benefit has has come to people. And these all these small things which are giving so, so the belief was that you will lose mathematics and people will stop understanding how to calculate stuff. I don't believe that is a real concern for me as such and for people also because being able to add numbers or subtract numbers is not really increasing your mental faculty. Right. To be able to solve problems is what is increasing your mental faculty and to be able to visualize future solution is increasing. So, so doing repetitive addition and subtraction and multiplication is not really improving the human condition as such. Right. So, so I believe that that was the first mass scale digital benefit which people got by mm. just using calculators. And now the technology is enabling examples of what you saw with, with Outlook giving you the latest file with uh, with excel allowing you to do small automations you want to get data from various websites all those things are easily available just by doing small th simple things without any programming knowledge even required interesting and i think uh, when you're just telling that the powerpoints design feature i use it extensively yeah. intelligent design right. it does the formatting for you once you put in the text okay it's right. it's very small but it makes a huge difference for the ones who are making a presentation. It it has literally cut down my PowerPoint presentation times by, I don't know, 4,000, 5,000% actually mm -hmm. uh, to make a good PPT. I just put the content and uh, PowerPoint does the magic. It does images. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Uh, Ram, can you think of something where you have de delivered a transformational benefit, which is in terms of multiple X orders? Yeah, so ours is a you know trading platform. One of the applications that we are supporting is a trading platform, <clears throat> wherein um, you know they do the trading based on various batch reports, you know that are generated out of nightly batch. So when they come, um, you know, and they start the business, they go and pick up all the exceptions which are uh, exception accounts which are deviating from its original contract and they route it to the trading module and they do the you know order generation process so this batch component um, and the real-time uh, trading component were sitting as two disjoint sets earlier and uh, these guys have to manually pull out those exception accounts and uh, you know generate that proceed out so can you that. walk us through the numbers of how much money and time that they have spent i can see in uh, working here can you right us through this so here, um it was taking around two hours okay when they actually doing it manually it was taking two hours per trader and there were around 10 and uh, roughly if we calculate it for a month it comes to 22 days so hours saved you know it comes to around 5000 on hour right so that is the total uh, you know effort and uh, it is coming um, you know assuming that they're you know hourly way so these are you know wall street guys <clears throat> so uh, at the minimum uh, even if we consider 100 bucks per hour it comes to around uh, you know half a million so that is the total effort you know they were spending in terms of doing all these things manually so we at our side you know the app dev team we just thought of automating uh, you know this linking of this batch component with the real time trading component and we tried automating so with that we just uh, batched the real time manual work whatever they were using also along with the batch component so with that uh, the total development effort for that particular automation uh, you know, comes to around just four four eighty hours. Okay, it was a month's effort by you know around three developers at offshore. So uh, considering uh, hourly pay of twenty five bucks for the offshore developers, it comes to around uh, you know twelve thousand bucks. Okay, so this is the total effort or total money that we might have invested in automating it. Uh, and the benefit that we got, uh, you know, gain out of it is saving around half a million, uh, you know, dollars worth of effort, right? 
so the benefit delivered here it was beyond you know 4000 uh, which is exactly uh, you know comes in sync with what uh, you know kumaran pointed out as the transformation it's actually so we believe that it is an element or this is an, a simple example of digital transformation we are talking about Correct. So if 100x is 1x, we have 44x value delivered here. Now, this is a brilliant example, uh, Rob. I think yeah. so what you actually showed is something like uh, without major consulting or process changes, uh, you could actually deliver by working within your project and within your team. You are able to actually able to deliver a 44x value. Deepak, exactly. if you could just stop sharing and kind of talk about your citizen transformation. I love the word when you said citizen automation and citizen transformation. Maybe you could talk about that a little bit more. Yeah. So, so I, I believe that see the what what today uh, the technology is enabling the individuals to become more productive. Right. Things like the automation which which Ram talked about is something which requires. Uh, at least three developers working over a month's time to deliver this 44x uh, uh, output. So, so what citizen or citizen automation or uh, uh, citizen the individual productivity is, is concerned, that is now being enabled by by all these tools which is available sometimes for free. Like you look at tools like if this then that is IFTT, yeah. IFTT, right? Which is Anybody can just go log onto the site and automate stuff. He says, if I receive a mail in Gmail, copy that into the OneDrive, the attachment, and put it into an Excel file. That kind of automation you can simply do by for, for nothing actually today, right? All these tools are actually available free, right? And and you can literally. Uh, Auto, automate your life and uh, uh, and now with a lot of the other things which are these individual house productivities I want to know if somebody comes to my door I want to get an emails and paying a lot of money to do it and now these things are relatively cheap uh, compared to what what it used to be if, if you imagine uh, 10 years ago if you were to set up a, a remote monitoring system for your house it would cost you lakhs and lakhs of rupees yeah. Right. Now it probably for a few thousand rupees you can you can get the same level of uh, automation, right? And for for and for enterprises and other things now means people are not even talking to development teams for uh, simple things like this is if I want to know if a ticket comes to me in service now I want to create a bug in in my uh, let's say. Uh, uh, Visual Studio system, right? So my my TFS, I want to create a bug there, right? So now things like uh, automation tools like Microsoft Flow and other things are available, which is very similar to IFTT, right? They say if a mail comes into this folder, I want you to send a approval mail to my manager and say, should I create a bug? And say manager says, okay, create a bug. It automatically goes and creates a bug, and there's no developer effort actually involved in doing this. And so, which is, I believe, citizen automation, team level automation, not necessarily a whole enterprise level automation, right? Which is great savings. And and what it does to people is it frees up their time to do more important stuff. So, uh, so, so and they can be more creative about things which usually computers cannot really do, right? And that is where I believe the digital benefits are being delivered to individuals more than just organizations. Perfect. Great. Uh, thanks all for joining. I think those were lovely examples. Uh, citizen automation showing how the mail does it and something as uh, complex as delivering a 44x return with just a month of three developer effort is absolutely brilliant. Uh, thanks. Uh, let's take this forward and see how much more we can do it in the coming episodes. Thanks for joining all of you.